I used to do dub in Spanish and what? I used to dub porn. You dub porn? Yes, X rated movies. That's a fact. <laughs> in Spanish. What did you mean? How did you say it? Huh? You used to talk in Spanish? I do. You know, you know porn? Yeah. They, they come in different languages. Yeah. Right? So I used, to, I used to translate them oh. and dub like do yeah, the, the whole like the morning as he goes again. <laughs> okay. What's up, guys? We're back here at the Comedy Club Confessions here in West Hollywood with my guest today, <laughs> uh, the porn star king, <laughs> Guillermo, <laughs> Guillermo Garcia. He's an actor and comedian, and it, we're lucky to have him here today. Thanks What's up, bro? Man, man. Thanks, thanks. It's, it's always a pleasure to get out of the house when you have a two-year-old and you got a two-year-old and one on the way. Yes, man. So let me ask you a quick question. You're a comedian, right? Yeah, I comedian mean, first or actor first? No, Which actor one? first. I, actor. actor first. And you came from Venezuela. I'm from Venezuela. Yes. Were you acting in Venezuela? I did the whole thing in Venezuela. I did theater. I did movies. I did telenovelas. I did TV shows. I did everything. <laughs> I yeah. know. We, before and, we started, you're mentioning that you were a voiceover. Basically for porn. Yeah. So I, 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 it's not like the right term, but it's like, I, I used to do dubbing in Spanish a lot. Right. Okay. And I used well, to, and this is true. Like I used to be the voice for the Green Lantern for like many years. The Green Lantern. For, the Green, Green Lantern. Yes. Yeah. 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 For the Justice League and all that. Justice League. We're going to put Justice this, we're going to have oh, subtitles yeah, gonna, for yes, you guys. Please. He's from Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my Spanish sounds like his English. <laughs> yeah. You will never make it in my country. <laughs> So, so yes, I used to, I used to do a lot of, I mean, you know, I was, I was good, man. I was yeah. good. I, I did like Auto Swim. I did like uh, MTV shows. I did HBO. I did. And then at one point when you're like, a, when you're in dubbing, there's like, there's no money at all. It's no. very hard and there's no money. So you have to do a bunch of stuff. So the girl will be having sex ah, 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 and you'll yeah. be like, what? And I'm like, okay, te gusta? So I, like it. And I, I mean, I will translate the thing. Because this gusta, will be in Italian. Ah, oh, like, you like it. But, but in Spanish, right? Say it in Spanish. In Spanish, te gusta, te gusta, quieres más. And then, and, <laughs> and then, so when you have like four scenes, you know, four scenes, you know, what you do in like performing oral sex, yeah. they will give you a, a candy. Yeah. So you will be like, and like, that. like that. So, and and for the girls, this is true, man. This is like this is very professional. Okay. <laughs> this is very met. Yeah, very if anyone wants to method. do fucking porn. <laughs> so and the girls, they will they they will give them lollipops. Yeah. So the, the problem with dubbing porn is that you're like in a cabin that is like it's like this, but it's very very yeah. smaller than this, and the doors are shut and everything, and because of the performance. Yeah. You get you can hyperventilate, yeah, yeah, because you're all the time <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing this all the time, and people will almost faint like every single. So you have to take a break, and then you know, and then you come back. Dude, now that I look at it with this background too, with the, we're in the retro room right now. You kind of do yeah. look like a '70s yeah, this is porn star right now. Yeah, this would be a dude. Great you look, set. oh, see, they all the time. <laughs> <Get his mask. laughs> and sometimes you will do like younger guy. You could do like I mean, you can do like yeah, yeah, yeah of play. course. Sometimes it. We but that do, wasn't your passion, obviously. Not at all, man. I you wanted know. to be a th theater theater actor, like theater, drama. Movie actor, yes, all that. Okay. And uh, uh, if you guys don't know this, uh, he has a new TV show coming out, uh, season four, right? Yes. Season four of the Mayans on FX, which comes out when? April 19th. April 19th. And he is the villain on in the, the, this series, right? Yeah, yeah. He's really the villain. Amazing. What's your character called? It's called uh, Ignacio and A.K. El Banquero. Ignacio El Banquero. So we have a special guest in our house tonight. <laughs> he went from porn voiceover <laughs> to a villain. That is yeah, amazing. Man, yeah. do you, let me ask you a question. Do you ever catch yourself using that same voice? Oh, te gusta. Uh, no, I mean, I, <laughs> you see, I... The thing is, like, we do, I used to do a lot of impressions, and especially like Spanish because it's my na native language. But the way it started it was because I was I was bullied when I was a kid, like at, in at, like high school, stuff like that. And I used to have this guy that it was like all the time, you know, like hey hey, like bullying me all the time. So I started in a school, a very Catholic school, a branch uh, of the Catholic school called the Opus Day. Uh -huh. It was only boys. It was like it was very like strict and all that, and. One day I was doing like I used to do impressions by myself when I was a kid, right? Yeah. And once I I I did Speedy Gonzalez. Okay. And the whole and the whole classroom were like, "Wow, that was so funny!" And I was like, I would look I looked like Forrest Gump when I was a kid. Yeah. So nobody expected it was me. <laughs> 
And the guy who used to bully, he said like, that was you, right? And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. That was you. Do that again. And I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, do that again. Or like, well, I, I, I'll hit I you. beat you up. Yeah. I hit you. And I would be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I would do that. And he would like on the breaks, he would take me to, to, you know, to introduce me to other guys say, Hey, this guy does the best speedy on Saturday. And he was the bully. He was the bully. That's crazy. So you be, you, yeah. you made a friend through comedy. Exactly. And the guy said like to me, like do speedy on Saturday, do speedy on Saturday. And then at one, at one point he was like, do it all. I'll fuck you up. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then he got bored. He was like, I'm tired of speedy on Saturday. Make something, something Make else. Up. Wow. Yeah. So I started really when I was a kid doing like. Just out of survival. So you, just, you just wanted out of survival. And this is in Venezuela. In Venezuela. So he yeah. might have just killed you. I mean, Venezuela's kind it's of hardcore, tough, right? Yes. Especially right now, it's yeah, hardcore. It's right fucking now. mess. Man. It's pretty, okay, where is Venezuela located on the map? South America. Okay, like what's, in, what's neighbors? Is, we got Colombia. Uh, you got Brazil. You got Ecuador. You got so it's very. So would you was it is it more like narcos like really hardcore over there or is it more like party town? Oh man, I mean. Was it to to cartel to give you like a like a really like accurate picture of what my country yeah. is like? So there's a there's a warrant like how you say like a warrant when you when somebody's wanted and they pay you somebody. wanted wanted yeah so the president of my country is wanted by the U.S. government <laughs> <laughs> for fifteen million dollars. Oh wow. That's like you can Google that. That's, that's crazy. Like, I, that's, didn't know, I didn't know that. Like the U.S. said like hey listen there's a there's, President of Venezuela is wanted, <laughs> and we're gonna give you fifteen million dollars. The problem crazy. is, yeah. I want those fifteen million dollars because I know who, like where the guy is <laughs> all the time. I know where the guy yeah, is yeah. all the time. So like a lot of people from the Venezuelan government are wanted by the by, by the U.S. government. Okay, by, so it's by, just like any third world country, kind of like a little, a little corrupt, little. It's very corrupt. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, and it's all about yeah. It's a, it's a lot of. I think everyone's corrupt in a little way, right? I mean, yeah, but Venezuela, we have mastered yeah. that. Okay, so you learned com you you got you said you use comedy as a way to get yourself out of some situations, and then when did you start doing stand up in LA, was that when I met you? No, or no, that was that was like a couple of years before. Yeah, yeah okay. So I was always afraid about doing doing stand up because I I was a huge fan of of Chris Rock, Jerry Seinfeld, like so many so many comedians that I was like, oh my god, this is amazing, and I always wanted to do this right, and and at one point. I, I I was trying to book something here like very very big or or I, I was almost close to get it like a yeah, huge yeah. opportunity and then I, I got really depressed and I was like yeah. oh, fuck it I'm like I'm not gonna make it this yeah you're a so comedian <laughs> depressed yeah, yeah and, then, <laughs> and then I was like hey listen I have to I and then listen I have to really do something about it so I did a, a um, stand up workshop. And with a great guy called Kerry Otis, uh -huh. and he Kerry or Gary, Kerry with Kerry. C C A R A R Y, and and he was very very honest, and I and and I really enjoyed having you know those classes, and and then at the end of the workshop, you you will do uh, five minutes at the improv in Mer oh, Mer wow. Merrows. You will do a show like a showcase, yeah, like a graduation show. Yes, and I did it, and it went so freaking great, man. That I yeah. got approached by a producer. It was like, really? Oh, yeah. The, the first day, the, my first no day way. doing stand. Was it like a legit producer? Because I know it, a lot of no, those. It was legit. A lot of those graduation legit. classes have yeah. their friends there. Yeah, you were, you were I'm great. I'm a producer, man. Yeah. I'm a producer. I want to put you in a movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she was, she was very, very legit, and and she told me, hey, I want to work with you. So we started writing a pilot, and and I mean, it didn't go like. It didn't go anywhere. It was yeah. just, but it was exactly. a good opportunity. But it was a good opportunity. It was a good opportunity for and me, you, you know, to. Say like, oh, maybe this is it. This is what I need to do now. Yeah, and you're gonna make everyone think that if you take this workshop, they're gonna get to get a producer. <laughs> I mean, but it was funny, man, because it, I I learned doing that workshop that that everybody can be funny. Yeah, everybody has a, a funny story. Yeah, I I noticed with your comedy with with it's I I feel like since you're from Venezuela. Your your language the language you are English is your second language, right? Yes, totally. So yeah. when you when you're writing material, are you writing it in Spanish in your head and then writing in English, no, or I, you're writing in English? I write in English always because I I, I if I do shows in Spanish. Pero como dice de chiste, cuando lo, lo estás pensando, yeah. you think of it in Spanish. No, but you have to forget the whole thing, your whole humor in, in Venezuela okay. uh, because it's it's another game, dude. That's that's that's, that's how I thought that'd be really hard for anyone learning English as a second language. I do. 
Like, do you think in Spanish <laughs> or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think in Spanish, but yeah. when I, when I try to, to, to write a joke, like the premise or, or the setup, or, I always think in English because Venezuela humor is way different than here. If right. I do Venezuela humor here, I will get canceled. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, just getting on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I've be seen, like, I've seen some comics from from other countries yeah. when they perform. It's a completely different style. It's different style. Like, dude, in Venezuela, we have so many problems that it's like if you're if you're if you're Asian, you will call Chino, Chino. Yeah, yeah. Like it was yeah, people yeah. from Chinese, and and people will say like, "Hey, I'm Jesus Chino." Yeah. And they're like, and if you're if you, I have a friend who has one ear, yeah, and his name is Pedro Oreja. <laughs> it's like I'm Pedro, Pedro one here. ear. That's, Pedro. that's here. Pedro here. <laughs> And that's the way he yeah, he yeah, introduced yeah. himself. So so for me, I wanted to do it right. So I went to Second City and and did like I was like, what okay. year was this? This was like five years ago. Okay, yeah. So you've been doing stand up for about five years. Yeah, I mean, with the pandemic, it was like so. Yeah, four years. Yeah, maybe. The, Were you doing Zoom shows yeah. and all that? Zoom. I hated Zoom shows. Yeah, yeah. That was. So I actually I saw you for the first time. Uh, I think I think you did Momo Rodriguez's show. Yeah. And I saw you, and I, I really liked your uh, your storytelling. You're a very good storyteller, and the way you deliver the, your your uh, I, I you know what attracted me about you, but, but you know what your is your accent. Your the talk like this, like Antonio Banderas. Like it makes me want to listen to you. Like hear hear what you're trying to say. I don't know what it is. I'm a sucker for accents. Like if I hear an accent, I, okay. Like Ismo, another comedian, has an accent. He sounds yeah. from Finnish. He sounds like this. Yeah. I listen to everything he's saying because I his his voice. It captures me, you know, like, you know, like, and that's a very good. I also used to do porn, so. <laughs> but I'm saying like with me, I sound like everyone else. So like, you know, but you, you're, I think you have, you have like a kind of an advantage, kind of like, do you feel like you have a kind of an advantage when you talk, when you speak? I, I think I have kind of an, an advantage because I like of my, my journey, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. Hard, it's, I mean, it's, dude, to come to this country, I used to be. I, I'm I'm a known actor in my country. I'm I like I'm, let's say I'm kind of famous in my country. Okay, and, okay. In your country, what would you be like? What level of famous would you be if you were in LA? Let's like say Justin uh, Bieber or like <laughs> Kim Kardashian <laughs> or like I'm talking about like let's say my country have dated the most beautiful women you <laughs> will ever imagine. If okay. I okay. if I came here, I have to be Bradley Cooper just okay. to match Bradley, that. Oh, Bradley Cooper. Oh. Just to match Damn, that. Yeah, you're Bradley Cooper. Uh, no, but there. Oh, okay. like, the currency doesn't <laughs> work in my cool. favor. That's dope. I'm, but I used I'm to like be, Bradley Cooper's driver. <laughs> and bear in mind, bear in mind, Venezuela has the most beautiful women of in course, the entire I, world. Yeah, that's all. I'm gonna Google Venezuela we have, tonight. We have the Guinness record of the most beauty pageants that have won. Like any country has I've won. Actually, won I've actually, Venezuela. I've actually been with the Venezuelan chicks. Amazing. Yeah, there are there are. Very hot. So in Venezuela, so to come from Venezuela and 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 you know be here in LA is like it's it's another game because you have you have, you got to start from scratch, you got to start yeah. from zero. Mm -hmm. And man, I was like I was doing shows in Colombia and Venezuela. I worked in Argentina, and then when I got here, I was like I was I was like no, I'm gonna make it like in a couple of months. No, this is gonna happen. I mean, I just. I just got this movie and it was amazing. And Tarantino's gonna call me like yeah, maybe yeah. January, maybe November, maybe something like that. And I was, I was maybe, yeah, I was too optimistic. Yeah. And then my money went boom, 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 boom and I end up doing. Uh, that's, when he, that's when he met me. When he went, boom, 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, I humbled him. <laughs> no man. And then, and then I started working at a pizzeria. No way. Really, at Joe's Pizza in Hollywood. And Shut the hell up. Yeah, man. And I and I had this crazy moment when some people from Venezuela found out that I was working there, and I got people from Venezuela going to the pizzeria to take pictures with me. Shut up. And I was wearing shorts, and I was have like like. like you know, like dirty, yeah, yeah, yeah. dirty shirt, and I would, it, it will be two a.m. in the morning, and I will say like, "Oh, please don't post this." I mean, yeah. <laughs> maybe like let me change, and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then at one point I was like, "Fuck it," you know what? I'm gonna be just blunt about it, and and I posted something with a pizza in my hand, and I say like, "Hey, for all, um, for all my fans, for all the opportunities that that L.A. has to a serious actor like me to offer to a serious actor like me." This is the one who only guarantee me pizza every day. Oh, so I was like, yeah. this is me being honest and keeping yeah. it like 100%. That's beautiful. Because it's a humble. It's, How long ago was this? That was oh, that was like six years ago. Maybe. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. So you've been here for how long? Eight years, yeah. Eight years. Eight well, years. I got to give a real uh, shout out to our sponsor, Comedy Showcase app. Make sure, guys, to subscribe. Go on Instagram. Follow them. 
the comedy showcase app where we're featured comedians up and coming and some seasoned comics great place it's a, if you, I don't know if you heard about it it's a great place for mm-hmm. comics to go on there and put their videos up and then the app will actually pay you oh, for really? views it's kind of cool check it out comedy showcase app check it out um, so you were in LA for eight mm-hmm. years, yeah. pizzeria six years ago, and then you're doing stand up right now and you're, and you're doing really well. I, I watch your, your Thank stuff. You. It's very funny. He's been on my best down Latino comic show, which I'm actually going to do a new one coming up soon. Um, and now he's on season four of Minds. Yes. Minds on FX. Dude, tell me about that whole, the whole thing. Tell me what, 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 what is, what is it like being on set? Cause I know people buy like when you get your script, do they email it to you? Do you, do you do so it? it's very like it's very different from 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 back home from, from the way we for the way we do it like in Latin America. It's very different because like here's like there's like so many it's like top secret. Everything is very like okay, we'll send you your side and and then sometimes like they don't send you the whole episode or they, they don't send you like if you're episode five, sometimes they just send you episode five. Oh. And you have no idea what's going on. Uh, oh wow! Prior to to your scenes, so uh, that must be hard. What? I, what, I, what <laughs> it's I, like, so it's hey, hard. we're it's gonna stupid. kill you today. It's like, uh, uh, why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't want. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> you hate all craft services. <laughs> exactly. It's like we hate you. Uh, but you know what I find here that's like very that I really I'm grateful. It's like in Latin America because there's no budget. There's always no budget we do like 10 scenes we do like 12 scenes if you do like telenovelas that's insane dude we do like 26 scenes in one day no way like you will change at the studio on suit you will change there and people will be, you cover you with towels and they're like yeah we need to do really? this and yeah because sometimes in latin america like when you do telenovelas they give you a script and then the same script like the same scene that you're doing right now it's going on air at 9 p.m Oh man! Sometimes I went. It was like Saturday Night Live kind of. It's it's insane, <laughs> but he but he prepares you as an actor, you know, to I can learn something really fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm terrible. He, he he helps me with my auditions all oh, the time. Man. I I go, hey man, how does this look? He goes, hey, man. <laughs> he he he, he texts me in English and Spanish just in what I. He goes, bro, you. That's the frame. That's the frame. <laughs> that's by the, the frame way, frame I'm, not right like, I'm not like the manzana. You know the apple. You know the thing. It's like look at the he freaking goes, apple. Look at the apple. Look at look this. <laughs> Because I do all self tapes like, with my cell phone, yeah. but that's just—I'm a terrible actor. I'm still learning. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, you're good. You're good. Nah, I'm learning. I'm not you're good, that man. shit. But uh, well, one day. Nah, uh, what's will. the next goal for for stand up comedy? What's gonna happen next? What do you What do you well, want? Do more shows? What, I mean, what's going on? Like, I look Armenian, dude. You do I look mean, Armenian. just let's fucking do Armenian shows. I, do. <laughs> I don't care. But like for like, I can pull it off. I can do an Armenian are you, accent. Are you trying to like shoot for like uh, like a half hour Comedy Central? Ah, uh, I would, I would Netflix, love that. Amazon. I would love that. I would. The thing that I love about about doing stand up, dude, is like, it's the hardest thing you can ever do. Yeah. Like I have done. I've done movies, I've done shows, I've done telenovelas, I've done theater, I've done everything. There's nothing harder than stand up. You know what's crazy, bro? I love stand up and I'm doing pretty well, knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to do the I want oh, to do no. acting and theater and all that. That's what I want. So it's like we should if me and you combine forces, yeah, we'd be it. unstoppable. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> but you know what? It's like I because with let's say movies, you start doing movies, right? With a movie, you, you, you make a movie and it's like, you can always blame the editor. You can always blame the director. You can always blame the script. When you do a stand-up, that's on you. Like, if you shine, that's you. If yeah, you yeah. suck, that's you. Because yeah. sometimes I have, I have the experience that I'm like, oh, it's this fucking audience. Yeah. It's like, it's not good at all. It's never the audience. And then, man, comes right after you, this guy, and just, this motherfucker's getting all the laughs that yeah. I didn't get. Yeah. So it's not the audience. It's never the audience's it's fault. Ne- it's exactly. It's, and you know, it's crazy because with you, every comic, oh, they're tired. They always say the com- they're tired. Yeah, they're tired. Oh, the checks dropped. Oh, yeah. this or that. To be a stand comedian, you never know what kind of audience you're going to get. You never know if someone in the audience wants to freaking hurt himself that night or you're going to fight with his wife or the yeah. kids are calling a babysitter. You have no idea what's happening in the audience. You literally just got to go there. Yeah. And you gotta make them fall in love with you for those fifteen minutes you're up on stage. I mean, you were amazing doing crowd work and rifting. Like I have since, like since it's not my first language. Like I don't have the confidence to to do you know to improvise that much with the audience. But I figure you would because you're an actor, and I 
I know, but I don't like. I like. I like to go straight into the material. Da, 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 da. Like boom, 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 boom. And sometimes I have learned. And Momo, like I love Momo. Momo sometimes is like, hey, you gotta read the crowd first. Yeah. Because if the crowd is calm and you come like, hey, how you guys doing? And then they're like, what the yeah. hell's going on? Yeah, I, I I describe it more as like when you jump into the ocean. When you go in the ocean, if there's a wave coming this big yeah. or this little, you gotta walk in a certain way. Yeah. You know, if you go in there like, hey, psh, and then you're going to freaking drown, dude. You're yeah. going to drown. You got to go in there. And it's gotta, brutal, man. It's brutal. It's always good to follow the last comic's energy. So if a comic, last comic before, if you're the first comic going up, yeah. that, then you, you can go as high as you want. Oh, okay. That's how I feel. Okay. If you're going in the middle, always follow the last comic. If the other comic was high energy mm -hmm. or ending the low energy, go in there with low energy and then get him to your slide and bring up slowly. I just feel like a lot of comics don't know that. A lot of comics feel like, I have this ten minute set. It always works this way. It's always gonna work yeah, this way. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's not. It's not gonna work all the time. But the thing is, when you kill, dude, when you do great, yeah. it's, like, it's it's a rush that is like, oh my god, dude, it's, it's like a drug. Thing. Yeah, it's like I want to have like two burgers. I yeah. want. I want to. I'm craving like a freaking beast. Yeah, you don't want to get off stage. You don't want to get off stage. That's why some comics never get off stage because that red light means get off the stage, but yeah. they don't want to get off stage because of that that rush, the energy. Um, then tell me a bad experience you've had with comedy so far. What do you call me a bad experience? Yeah, a bad experience. I have so many, dude. I have so many. <laughs> what was the worst the, one? I mean, at the at the ha ha. At the ha ha. Right? What happened? <laughs> By the way, a ha ha comedy club is one of the hardest clubs to perform at. You know why? Because a lot of clubs have a white room, a black room, a, a Latino. Like you know, it's just this club is yeah. a melt. It's everybody. Yeah. You're gonna get blacks, browns, uh, gay, straight, everything, all 31 flavors at one time. So you have to be able to like get them. If people say that if you do the ha ha well, you can do the road. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's why I do so well in the road because I grew up in the ha ha, yeah. and I'm doing so well. So tell me what happened with you. So I have done well in the ha ha, like a, like a few shows that are like, oh my god, like I feel like I'm freaking Chris Rock. I'm like I'm 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 killing it. This is amazing, right? And then I have like this has happened to me three nights, like it, like it's in in like almost in a row. I was like the the guy the host is like you're next. And then Paul Rodriguez comes. And I'm like, oh. oh. And, then, oh Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> and then Paul Rodriguez like, hey, how you doing? And I'm hey, like, no, hey, hey, how you doing? The first time, and he was like, oh, man, I'm, I admire Paul Rodriguez. You got bumped. I was like, yeah, that's what they, yeah. And I still don't know the terms. So he, Paul Rodriguez walked in and took his spot. He got bumped. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. And then he he did great. Yeah. It was amazing. And then I got to follow that. Oh, you had to follow him. Oh. And I was like, oh, shit, this is hard, right? So the second show that I, like, the second show. Same night? Paul Rodriguez. Not the same, not the same night. night. No, different, the different night. Paul Rodriguez. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> 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 and the guy said, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, shit. He bumped okay. you again? He did that again, wow. right? And I was like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. And I, he, he was trying new material, so he was not as, as, good. as good as, as the last, last show. That's the last time. And the third night, I kid you not, dude. No way. And I was like, and I was like, this motherfucker. Is he following you? He was there. <laughs> <laughs> and I see him and I say, hey, listen, man. Because <laughs> I, I know the yeah. comedy is weird. Like, yeah. it's, it's like the military. They're yeah. like few ranks and people get so yeah. like, stupid about it. Yeah, yeah. They're like, oh my God, you do He's this. He's a veteran. Yeah. This is a veteran. I'm a rookie. <laughs> I, I got to suck his dick, I guess. I, like, pay for his pizza. Like, it's weird. Like, yeah, yeah. As actors, we're so like, we don't three care. Times. So he bumped me three times. And the last time I said to him, I said to him, hey, listen, man, like you have done this to me like two times. <laughs> and he was looking at me, who the fuck is who this guy? Like, who the fuck? He was like, he didn't say that though. Yeah, he was yeah. very nice. I got to say he was very nice. But he was like, who the fuck are you, man? Yeah. And I was like, hey, listen, the Thanks. first time you were really good. And Same. I was like, and it was so fucking hard to follow you, right? And it was the second time. And now you're going to do this again to me. You told and that? I told him. Oh my God. I did that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and and some friends like, yeah, you never you never tell yeah. those guys that you that they that you get bombed. He's a legend. <laughs> and and he and he was like, hey man, just just chill, just relax. It's gonna be fine. And he was pretty good at. It. I mean, he was he was pretty good. <laughs> and that, <laughs> and then he came on the stage, and I was like, fuck this. I'm gonna tell like this is like I'm not I'm not I'm not like in my mindset because I needed. That. Yeah. I was like, I'm not following Polo Diaz. I'm doing my shit. Yeah. Yeah. And that like, it got my confidence like yeah. got 
I don't know. Yeah, the reason why it was, he did, it was did, better. The reason why he didn't do it the second time was because you built that. In, you built this problem in your head, like, oh my god, I gotta follow up. Right, right, guys. Yeah, and that's what happened. Yeah, because for me, this is brand new. Like, yeah. it's it's very hard. Like, I'm at a point like in my life that I don't have the time to to because I did that. You go to the laugh factory, you like stay there for two hours, and then and then it's like they you don't get the ticket, and then you have to wait like for seven hours. Like, I did that a few times. Yeah. That's I, the laugh at your open mic, guys. Yeah, it's it's That's awful. Hardcore. It's 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 very <laughs> hardcore. Yeah. And sometimes I used to go at the improv uh, yeah. to the open mics, and I will never get the ticket. And I was like, man, I got. And this guy was the Bradley Cooper of Venezuela. I was and he still gotta put in the work. <laughs> And it was freaking hard. And yeah. sometimes, and, and you know what's funny about this business, man? Because sometimes people, there's an industry behind this industry that I hate. Yeah. There's all the time like, oh, you need a PR. Oh, you need a lawyer. Yeah. Oh, you need an agent. Yeah. You know, and it's like you're putting more money, more money, more, more money, money into something that is like, it's not tangible. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's very weird, right? And sometimes I don't I don't have the time to, to, to do that. And I was like, oh, man, if I get three minutes... So I, I started I in flap at uh, flappers yeah because it was like easier for me to get an audition yeah. to get the, the freaking ticket and then and then and they give you a contract that says we're not paying you anything exactly <laughs> and I did that and my first show my first show outside the showcase that I that, that I did with Carrie Otis Aida Rodriguez was in the was the headliner and she was in the back of the room and she said the first thing she said is like oh my god the Venezuelan guy that he was really funny. And I and then I talk to her and I say thank you and she said how many minutes do you have and I say how many minutes do you need and she says no well, twenty maybe twenty and I had seven minutes I have only seven minutes <laughs> and she said oh maybe you want to open for me I mean that would be awesome and I was like for real so I started doing shows with Aida nice at Claremont I did a few at the Improv so I got like a really I mean it's hard as a as a new comedian I guess. Because for me, it's hard to call myself a comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel I have to... You have it's to like the your, military. You have to put, you put yeah. your work in. <laughs> I have to carry some luggage to <laughs> the better end. So, okay, before we get out of here, I want to ask you one question. Who do you think or who do you think thinks that they have beef with you? I think Paul Rodriguez. <laughs> you think Paul Rodriguez? Yes. And the whole term of having beef, it's, it's really weird because like... I'm from Venezuela. If you have beef with somebody, it's because you care. Like beef, it's expensive. <laughs> I was like, come home, we're gonna get a beef. No. People are like, oh shit, what can it bring? Wine, rice, <laughs> potatoes. No, but bro, so, you don't. Think, you think anyone has a problem with you, or you have a problem with them? I have a problem with everybody all the time. Like I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not afraid of telling people like stuff. Like, hey, listen, this is okay, like, this who? is bad. Anyone in particular? Anyone in particular? No. Not, like right now, I think like my son. My son. My son's two years old. I think he <laughs> has like he has a beef. Like yeah. Like, <laughs> He hates my God. Well, uh, this was a really good episode, guys. I want to give a, a thank you for coming out. Oh, Yermo I'm Garcia, sure. where can they find you? Um, on Instagram, you can watch Mayans MC. Um, it premieres on April 19th on FX and Hulu. And and what else? And maybe maybe with this guy doing we'll Armenian shows. Performing coverage of Armenian shows. <laughs> Guillermo Garcia, guys, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate you appreciate so much. You, I'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Peace.